Hey there, Mrs. Elke here. Uh, today I was going to do an animal that was a little bit more realistic. I drew the animal first with ink and then used watercolor to paint it in. Um, so the animal in question, of course, is a cute little sloth face. I had done a drawing one previously, but I had a request to do a little bit more detail, a little bit more realistic picture. So here is my version of a more realistic sloth. It's super cute. Um, so yeah, have fun with it. I was saying to it, it would be really fun to add like little leaves or something here on the side if you wanted to give an indication of where the sloth is hanging out. So here is my little sloth tutorial. Have fun with it. Um, and hopefully yours is super adorable as well. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any requests, please feel free to let me know on my Facebook page, Lori Elke's Art, and I will do my best to come up with a fun little tutorial for your requests. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. I'm going to start with the nose. And I'm actually going to make the two little holes in the nose first, like so. And then I'm not going to make a perfect outline of the nose because it kind of starts mingling with the hairs. So I'm going to make what I'll call a, a hairy outline just to kind of show about where the nose goes to. I'll go around the, the two little nose holes. If you want to, you can actually even color those nose holes in. And I'm going to go ahead and make the mouth. And so many times I see kind of a, a happy face. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in like that. And then the eyes of the sloth are pretty far down. So I'm going to start from the nose and go almost exactly sideways and just up a little bit for the eyes. We'll do one right there and then try to kind of do about the same distance on the other side. So we'll do another one right there. So I have the two eyes and then they've got kind of a dark fur around the eyes. So I'm going to make kind of fur marks like this that go out towards the side um, around the eyes that I just drew. Go ahead and make those marks down and around like that. And then kind of above the eyes is where the uh, light part of their fur is. So I'm going to just kind of make some furry lines that show the light part of the fur, like so. And then the actual top of the head will be above that. So. I'm going to make another line up here to show the top of the head. And again, I'm just using little marks to make kind of furry lines so you can see that it's a fur texture instead of a smooth texture. I'm going to bring the head around. Um, let me work on some of the bottom before I finish it here. So I'm going to go ahead and make kind of a little line for the bottom, uh, kind of the chin part and give him little marks there. And then um, another one here and then the bottom of the light area. So this area is going to kind of continue. It'll stop for the eyes and then it'll kind of continue down here. This all is pretty light. And then the dark will kind of come down below that. They've got kind of a furry chin, so I can kind of bring some of the hair a little longer under the chin. And then I'm just going to kind of make, indicate the shoulders a little bit here on both sides like that. All right. Um, while I've got my pen still, I'm just going to make a couple more details. I'm going to do a little bit of marks like this just in the darker spots um, just to kind of help remind me which direction the, the fur is going. So 
so it's kind of starting towards the middle and then as I get towards the sides it's kind of you know growing out towards the, the sides and then almost horizontal and then of course on the bottom here the fur goes down. I'm going to go ahead and darken the line around my eyes just a little bit more so that those are really nice and strong and when I paint them too I will make them nice and strong and dark. All right I'm going to make my mouth line just a little bit stronger too before I begin to paint. I'm going to go ahead and put my pen away for now. I can always add more lines with my pen afterwards, but I'm so excited to get into the painting that I'm just going to dive right in. All right, I'm going to start with a burnt umber, which is kind of a dark brown. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this top part in with the burnt umber. And uh, ink and watercolor is really just a, such a nice combination because um, the watercolor, I don't have to be quite as careful. The ink kind of helps with my lines, so I can be a little bit more um, laid back with my watercolor painting. I almost look at it more as just kind of coloring in a book um, instead of trying to create all the little lines or the little details just with the paint. I have a lot of details already drawn in with the ink, so this stuff is quite a bit easier. Here's my darker brown, and I'm going to go ahead and continue it down a little bit along in here, and then under the chin. All this is pretty dark, so I can go ahead and have this all painted in. I can use a little bit more water and just kind of have the sloth kind of fade into that water if I want because we really want the focus to be on the face. So this doesn't have to be overly detailed. It's just kind of there, fading out. I do want some nice, rich, dark browns, especially like right in here. So I'm gonna go back in and just kind of touch those a little bit more. I can even add a little bit of ultramarine blue to my brown. Those two mixed together create um, a darker brown, sometimes even a grayish brown. So if I add a little bit of blue, that makes it super, super dark. So I'm gonna kind of darken up the top here. And as long as the paint is wet, it'll mix, it'll blend together. So I don't have to worry about it um, being a little bit too crazy. It should kind of blend in with the color that's underneath down here. This is pretty dark. The area around the eyes is also really dark, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now too. So this whole little section right in here is nice and dark with the brown. So I'm going to go ahead and be real careful because the fur around that section is pretty light, so I definitely don't want to get too dark or too crazy next to that light fur. is dark and darken the nose with the brown. All right, now I want to add some other little details. Um, the sloth has just a couple hints of, of like an orangish color. So I want to throw those in just to kind of vary the color so it's not just all brown. So I'm going to start by just throwing in a little bit of orange on the side here just to kind of work it in gradually. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange. I wanna go pretty light, so I want it to be kind of mixed with some water um, around his eyes on both sides. A little bit of orangish yellow. 
and then I'm going to kind of blend that out into the bottom here using quite a bit of water just to keep it a little bit more subtle. And I'm looking for more of a tan color. So on my watercolor paints, because I don't have tan, I'm going to mix a burnt sienna, which is like a lightish reddish brown. And then I actually have white on my tray. So if I mix it with white, that kind of lightens it a little bit to give it more of a tan color, which is what I'm looking for for the rest of the face. So I'm going to start in the middle here with this color and um, just kind of float that in the middle and then work my way. I don't mind if some white shows through in this section because that'll kind of help with the fur texture. And then just like I did on the rest, I want to kind of show the texture in the direction that it grows. So I'm going to try to work my brush stroke so it looks like you can see the direction that the fur grows. It starts up in the middle, it kind of goes, starts in the nose and kind of jumps out in every direction from there. I'm going to darken this section right next to the nose a little bit because that's a little bit darker. And along the top of the lip is a little bit darker. And then the chin is actually pretty um, neutral. I'm going to leave right under the lip a little white. But I can kind of paint this in with my tan. Alright, I'm going to let all the fur stuff dry and I'm going to jump into the eyes here. And I'm going to switch to my small brush. This is a size, a size one. It's real little. Um, it's just a round brush. So I'm going to do some of the details of the eyes. I'm going to start with my orange color for the eyes actually. And I'm just going to fill them in with the orange completely. Which looks kind of funny right now. And then while that is still wet, I'm going to drop in some of the darker colors. So I'm going to go really, really dark with my blue-brown mixture and I'm going to keep it towards the center of the eye. Now, because this orange is wet, it's going to kind of bleed in, but that's okay because I want it to do that. I'm going to do really, really dark along the center and then I'm going to kind of pull a section of it down along the top on the outside too. On this side too. I'll just pull a little section down and then just kind of keep filling in sections of it, trying to be symmetrical. So I have some orange showing and some of the dark showing just to kind of give it some interest. While I have my little brush in this really dark color, I'm also going to give a little bit more detail to the nose. So the nose is not supposed to be quite so light. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and darken that, um, kind of from the nostrils and down. I want it to be darker. The top part can stay pretty light. Alright, and then I'm going to kind of look for some other areas that I can just really define with my darker um, colors and with my thinner brush. So I'm going to kind of add Maybe some little texture here with my brush. There's kind of a, some texture that goes around the eye here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in with my little brush. I will get a little bit darker kind of along in here by adding a little bit darker brown. And if some of this isn't quite dry yet, it shouldn't matter if it blends a little bit together, if it bleeds a little bit together. Mine's drying pretty quickly though, so I'm not having that problem. I'm darkening kind of the bottom down here under his chin, making that emphasized a little bit more. There's kind of some darker hairs that are real tiny um, in the middle here, so I'm just going to start kind of on the top and throw in just a couple real little itty bitty little hair. So I'm using a real thin brush and just the tip of my brush to get these little marks. It's kind of actually in between some of the lighter hairs that you're seeing some of that. So it's really, really subtle. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit more definition kind of along in here. I mean, you really want his face to have the most detail because that's where you want people looking. So 
time, making sure to at least have enough mark making and detail um, on the face that that's kind of where your eye is drawn to when you're looking at them. Got a little bit more in here. Throw that in there. Just add some of these little brush strokes. You can get super, super fancy and I mean really go in and add all the little, you know, fur brush strokes or you can keep it real loose and watery. It just depends on how detailed you are. I usually don't have too much patience to go in and sit there and paint all the little hairs, but I feel like if I just kind of throw, throw some in there that you get the idea. The hairs kind of along in here are, are quite a bit longer, so I'm gonna throw some of those in just to kind of give you an idea of the length of the hairs. And so I'm just I'm using kind of a brown orange mixture here. So it's a little bit darker than what's there. And I just want to kind of throw in some longer hair. Still using my real little brush so I can get kind of these wispy hair motions going down for the sloth. And over here the same thing, just kind of some long wispy hairs to get that detail in there. Kind of help frame out the face. Bring some pops of this orange. Time together. All right, there's just a couple more areas on the face that I want to add a little bit more color to, a little bit more darkness, and then uh, we'll be pretty close to being done. I'm going to just kind of go back in here and I'm going to darken this section just a little bit more. It's a little bit too light yet. So I'm going kind of with my brownish orange mixture in on both sides here just to kind of darken this. And I want to do the same thing around the eyes. I want to go a little bit brighter with the orange. So I will get a little bit more orange on my brush. Kind of push, pop that color just a little bit more those edges so he really stands out and I think folks that that's going to be about it so I hope you enjoyed painting this cute little sloth with me uh, he certainly has a lot of character if you wanted to add maybe a couple leaves or something in the background I'm sure that would look pretty adorable as well all right so there you have it, a more detailed sloth painting. Thanks for watching and please subscribe below.